Hello everybody, I'm sorry I've been stressed out. I haven't posted in like, I think like two weeks, almost three now. Uh, by the way, it's my birthday in like <laughs> a week. But uh, anyways, I'm going to be showing you what order you should do every SCN and some strategies for them. Uh, So, the first SC I'd recommend doing would definitely be TOTL. Alright, now the reason I picked TOTL is because it has, it's, it's pretty short. Uh, and if you can get closer to the last outside, you can do it in a couple of days. Um, it's a really good first SC, uh, because the gameplay is, like, pretty consistent, and it's really short. The jump to get to TOTL is kind of nil, though, because you have to, like, do a 5 to jump. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to be VMing up and showing you guys some strategies that I'd recommend doing, because they will help you. First one, if you don't know how to, uh, this is a lodge, so you gotta do that. <laughs> uh, do the skip. I'm just gonna be showing some skips as well that are well known, and if you don't know them or not, then you're cringe, and they'll help you. So do that. Um, you could free tie jump skip if you want, but you don't have to if you don't know how. Um, do this skip right here. You basically just flick to right here. It's that's, that's how you do it. All right, so this, um, I hope you would know how to do this, but here, th this is the strat. Hold W A and then turn your camera. Don't don't go don't go far to the edge or um, you don't wanna you don't wanna do that. Just do it. I can't really do it right now um because of my fingers, but yeah. <laughs> so you could free tie skip up there. I wouldn't recommend it though. Okay. If you don't know how to do this, just flick up. And then, yeah. And here, um, you can just jump. Nice. <laughs> you can just jump straight to right here, and then do that. And you could do this skip if you wanted, but I wouldn't recommend it. All right, so floor turn outside. Uh, floor eight's the hardest floor, by the way. So, it's just my opinion, though. Ah, uh, I beat the great city all of this. Kind of know. Okay, so this it's not a wall hop, by the way. You just just do this. So you can do an eleven set high jump right here, or you could just do it legit. Doesn't really matter, they aren't hard. You're gonna be stressed here when you get there here legit, so keep that in mind. Okay, so this make sure you're like I like to align with this stud right here. And then do it. You can do this skip. <sighs> Wouldn't recommend it, but you can. And yeah, that's pretty much uh it for TOTL. As as long as you realize you just hold W in space. Oh, did they change this? No, they didn't. Okay. And then just jump to this side. And do this as well. Make sure you do it. And then, yeah, that's it. Anyways, on to the next SC. Alright, so the next SC I'd recommend doing is gotta be TODT, for sure. Um, This is my personal opinion. TODT is, like, a little bit easier than TOTL, but it's less of a skill boost. So what I'd recommend doing is doing TOTL and TODT grind will be really fun. TODT is a really fun uh, Zone 2 SC. It's, like, it's one of the best insane, in my opinion. Uh, basically, just if it is stickouts and wraparounds, and floor 10 being nil. There aren't very many strategies, but I will give you this. I'd recommend flicking your camera out, and then going back of it, angling, and then turning early. That's what I would recommend doing. And for this jump right here, I've made a commentary on TOTL and TODT, so you make sure you can- You can also use those, um, if you want. So, here- Go like this and then flick your camera at the top and you'll make it. And since they patched the skip, I'm pretty sure they did. I don't really remember. Um, so you know how a lot of people struggle with this this jump for some reason? I don't know, it's not that bad. I like to go backwards, angle out of it, and then do it. And then you won't get stunned. You can reset jump skip if you wanted. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so you don't really need strategy for side B, but you I'm just gonna show you um some stress for this. So wrap around, climb on this, flick. Pretty straightforward gameplay, right? You know, not nothing too tricky, nothing too tricky, but... Once you get to side B, you're safe in it, by the way, so... <laughs> if you follow this, you just have to restart to side C, which is not that bad. Alright, so this, I can't stress this enough. People go like that, and it's such a bad idea. Flick, I'm begging you. Good music, by the way. Love this music. Oh, nice. <laughs> Anyways, now that I'm back here, what you should probably keep in mind is... 
I mean, what I did on my first run, I laugh clipped this. I wouldn't recommend it. So what I recommend doing is flicking out a tiny bit and then angling a bit and then doing it. Turn a little earlier than I just did because I just completely botched it. It's like, it's probably the hardest one of the tower. Wait, I just realized. Do it to the left, actually. Uh, go like this. Don't do that. <laughs> you could also just, I'm pretty sure you could high jump skip it. I don't know. I didn't recommend doing so. See, just do it like that. It's it's probably the hardest of the tower. And then last jump's like pretty easy. I know I'm gonna die from the VM barrier, but. but. <laughs> Anyways, on the next XC. Uh, XC. Nice, bro. Let's go. Whoa. Okay. So, this is my personal opinion. Um, There's literally no reason you should ever do Toga. Like, look at a Toga commentary if you want. I'm not gonna be showing any strats for it or anything like that because I don't even know many myself. I personally would not recommend doing Toga, like, whatsoever, because it will not skill boost you in any way. Like, it, it literally will not. <laughs> Don't do Toga. Moral of the story. <sighs> just a reminder, I will be including all of the other ones, just not Toga, because, um, it won't help you with future, like, stuff ever at all. <laughs> so here you want to go to TOIF, because TOIF is a humongous skill boost for tricky gameplay, but shh also short um it'll help you out with tr stuff like trusses and stuff like that but what the main reason you should do tof is because not only will it help you a lot with trusses but it will like i don't even know why it's the biggest skill boost out of an insane tower in my opinion and it's probably one of the harder ones so yeah um this tower is really really fun by the way like a lot of fun uh, it's probably my favorite insane. Um, I'm just going to give you some strats. This tower isn't really strat based, so I'm just going to give you some for floor 8. Because, uh... <sighs> this jump is really tricky without it. So you could do it like this if you want. That's not what I'd recommend doing because it can break. So what I like to do, um, flick out like that and then just hold W. Or forward, whatever you're playing on. Just go like this. Right? A stick out. I'm just gonna show you guys some strats for floor eight. All right, and do the same thing here. You're gonna want to go. Well, don't don't press A at all. Just flick out and then hold W at an angle or forward, whatever you're playing on. <laughs> and then here, just go under and eject off. Yeah, T O I F. You're you're gonna at first is you're gonna be like, no, this isn't doable. It's it, it is. Don't worry, it really is. I can assure you. Final jump. Just do this. <laughs> Whee! Anyways, return to hub. Let's go. Wait, is cows out? Oh, mm, that's cool. I don't think it is. Anyways, yep, you guessed it. Tower of difficulty chart revamp. Um, okay. So, I have mixed feelings about it. So, what I would say, you could do it. But I would recommend doing this after a couple extremes because it's not, it's not really, it, it's, it won't boost your skill very much. It will boost it a little bit, but uh, not as much as other towers that I will show you guys. Um, you could do this if you want a little bit of a skill boost to make extreme grinds a bit better. Uh, what I'd recommend doing is practicing terrifying quite a bit on this tower because you'll see. Um, it's, it's harder than Kata by quite a bit. Sorry, this music is incredibly loud. Um, hmm. Okay. So, this jump. Um, a lot of JTA players actually don't know this strategy. Uh, for every trust, really. Um, this will help you quite a bit. So, align with the trust and move down before you jump and you gain a lot of distance. Like, a lot of distance. Like, as you jump, move down like this. See? And you see how much more distance I got? And if you do it without that... See how much less this <laughs> You see how much little distance I got? Um, you could also- I'm pretty sure that it's actually intended to trust bounce. But I feel like that's way harder. So, yeah, just do that. Um, the problem with this tire is that it's mainly, like, conveyors. Um, <laughs> conveyor jumps, like, aren't good, so. And yeah, Kata, just take this away. Nobody likes you thin studs. <sighs> and yeah, pretty much- Okay, it's not finished, I don't think. Well, let's see. Oh, it is. Wow, I don't I'm pretty sure that's out now. Anyways, 
On to the next tower. Alright, now for the second to last insane. Bro, this man break dancing! Anyways, um for the second to last I forgot the god <laughs> Okay, for the second to last insane that you're gonna wanna do, uh, I'd recommend Dennis Tower. So it's it's a pretty big skill boost actually. The earlier floors might not be, but it actually is. Floor eight's obviously the hardest, but um It'll get you a lot, like, it'll get you used to grind. Yo, summer, summer, summer. Okay, but. It'll get you a lot used to grinds. Like, a lot more used to grinds. Um. One jump I'd recommend getting consistent at. Would be this one. So, a lot of people fail because they go like that. Um, don't do that. What I do is I, I recommend pausing midair and then turning completely sideways into it. Like, slowly curving your camera in. And then what a lot of people don't do is do that skip right there. I'd recommend for floor 10 box wrap the infamous jump of death this so i'd recommend angling a bit beforehand not that much you don't want to angle that much i recommend angling a bit beforehand don't do the dance strat that i have posted because it's inconsistent but do that it's it's probably the hardest room of the tower and it's incredibly unforgivable but don't do this wait i, I just realized i don't think you actually need the button you don't. You literally don't need the. You could just corner. Nice. But yeah. Uh, that. Other than that. This tower is kind of aggravating. And do this skip where. I'm sure you've all seen it. Um, hold on. Let me get back in. Okay. Anyways. Um. What I recommend doing. Is this skip right here because it will make this tower bearable and you don't have to do the horrible tower crossing um that is not what you're supposed to do for doing this skip my guy so get this and then you gotta go upwards okay so what you need to do is you need to go and then quickly jump up to right here and then you skipped a lot that doesn't even skip a checkpoint by the way so yeah on to the next I hate that song so much. Actually, that's not the second to last insane you're, you're going to want to be doing because of this ring. Okay. <laughs> okay, so for the next insane I'd recommend doing is going to be probably Tower of High Adrenaline. Um, also, expect some really good Ring 9 commentaries. I'll be making them soon. Basically, High Adrenaline is not necessarily amazing but it's also not necessarily horrible it's it's in between um so this tire is really short like really really short so that's good but uh pretty much just of it is that there are some outsides at the end and i am strategy person and i'm gonna show you how to do them um, I don't even know what I'm doing because I've never even been this far, but I've, like, vm <laughs> But basically, this tower is, like, kind of fun, but it's, like, nil. Alright, up here. I'm just going to be showing you some floor 7 and 8 outsides. Strategies. Okay. First off, that's just pure gameplay, no strats needed. So, what I would recommend doing here is just jumping back and then going at the correct time. Same with here. Like, right when that thing goes down. Like, right now. See that? And then you can go on it. These, you have to jump at the end. I recommend T-posing. It helps you know where you are um, better. Because it's not as distracting with your limbs fleeing across the whole universe. Because you're on a conveyor. But, bam. <laughs> okay. Um. No strats needed, really. Okay. So... This sucks. What I recommend doing is jumping really, really early. Like right here. Like back over there. And you should be good. Anyways, we're in the next seat now. Oh, oh. <laughs> By the way, the reason I said uh, all of those other SCs before Toha is because Toha is like... You're, it's gonna be easy for you if you have a lot of experience because it requires 
a pretty big amount of experience, so I'd recommend doing it in the order I'm saying. But you don't have to. Like I said, this is just what I'd recommend, so. Anyways, the next SC I'm going to be showing is Toka, because Toka is really, really good. It's, like, probably the, one of the best SCs out there. Like, no joke. I'm going to be showing you guys why. Look around. I'll be making a commentary on this tire, by the way, so you could use that to help you. Isn't that beautiful? Anyways, oh, hi, Chloe. Okay, so, there aren't very many strategies, but what I can help you with are some COs. So, there are some strats, though, like this one. Okay, so what I recommend doing is you see the stud texture, right? Of course you do. Go in the middle, angle around this much, and then turn early. That's what I recommend. And these conveyors are absolute ass. <laughs> Thunder. Uh oh. Anyways, basically, don't do it like this. Don't go. Shit! Go like this. Um, stall on the conveyor, and then go wow, and she, and then you made it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> just ju the neon doesn't do anything by the way. You just need to like jump at it and then bump. Just time it right. And then the last one you can't really do that. I don't think. Wait, let me check. If you can, that's good, but I don't think you can. Oh, you can. No, you can't. <laughs> so, what I recommend is, like, right now. Go. Hardest one. Floor 7. So, there aren't very many strategies for floor 7, but... This jump is camera control. A lot of JTA players struggle with stuff like this. Wait, can, can't you just... Okay, don't do that. That's, like, way harder, but... You could if you wanted to. I recommend going on this stud right here, and then camera controlling. Pretty much, that's pretty much it. Okay, these are conveyors are safety netted, by the way. You just have to redo seven. See? Like that. Wow, bruh, that's racist. That's so racist. Oh my. Okay, anyways, floor eight strategy. Um, This is a timed floor. So, right here. Oh, I love this music, bro. It's so nostalgic from TONN. Bro, I worked on that like seven months ago. Okay, so here you gotta go. Jump. Jump. Yeah, that's what happens if you mistime it and then you're like, <gasps> you fell all the way. Um, pretty much. Oh, love this music, bro. Okay. So here you gotta go quick because that kill brick wall is deadly as hell. And yeah, floor 10. Um, this, this. This floor's kind of nil. Sorry, has some of the best design, I swear. Rush. 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 You gotta rush. Do you know how scary this is on real runs? There's no strats either. Like, it's pretty easy gameplay, but you know how scary this is on real runs, right? And then you win. And look what happens. If you fail... Never mind, Killbrick Lab will save you. <laughs> what the f? Okay, now for the last insane, I would recommend Torso because it will help. Okay, I sh stop crying. You're gonna do it. <laughs> it is such a good tower. I don't care what anybody says. This tower is magnificent. Like, it's so good. I'm sorry, it's it's one of the best, it's probably the best insane. But, it's probably the hardest. Alright, so, the reason I say you need to do this is because it will help you so much with client objects and Pierce gameplay at the same time. It's the biggest skill boost for any insane tower. It will help you with your nerves. It will help you with so much. Now, there aren't really strategies, but there's a skip that I can show you guys. Now, now, where the fiddlesticks is it? Um, right here. All right, do this. Hit the button first. You, you're gonna need it. I'm pretty sure you have to do that part legit. I don't remember, but um, yeah, I don't know. What the? Okay. 
in all seriousness though, do this skip right here. That part is so incredibly hard. What I'd recommend doing. Do that. And then long jump. And then you skip that part. Oh, screen tearing. <coughs> Fun fact, when I use FPS, I'm like... But yeah, Toso is going to help you a lot with Sealers and Pierce gameplay, so you should do it. And do the skip because it sucks. <sighs> Anyways. Next tower. On to the extremes. Okay, now the first extreme you should do is Tower of Helpless Hell with skip. Oh, never mind. Progressing in the game is going to be so much harder because they had to cry and patch the skips. Oh no, do toss them. Oh, yeah, and the reason I say do tell us some is because THH with skips is a humongous skill boost either way. Like, even without skips, it's still a skill boost, obviously, but it's so much... It's just more on fun, you know? It's not fun to grind. It's horrible. Do it after toss them. Toss them is a painful tower to grind, but nowhere near as painful as THH without skips. So, in conclusion, toss them is superior. Tossum's a fun tower, by the way. Um, now. Side A becomes really consistent pretty quickly. Uh, there's not much to say about it, to be honest. Floor 10 sucks so much. I hate floor 10. It's the worst floor of the tower. But one thing you should practice is all of side B. Get, get somewhat consistent on it, and this tower will be a breeze. That's not necessarily a breeze, but it's okay. Hmm, how do I say this? It is a lot of fun to grind, especially with friends. So I'd recommend grinding this with some friends who are around your skill level. A lot of fun, but yeah. On to T O H H. Okay, I know it sucks. I know you don't want to do it, but stop crying. Do it. It's so good. That was a joke. It sucks. Um. I hate. <laughs> Literally the obby. Oh, it saves now. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Let's go. I did not know there were pillars there. But. I'm going to give you some strategies to make this tower fun. Well, more fun. In all honesty, this tower is not fun to grind without skips. And that's why Urchin sucks. And he should honestly just go cry and yeah because he like looks like a pine tree eater anyways here you gotta this is like the hardest part of floor three from here to the end of it and i'll give you strats for everything so he just wrap around you could high jump skip this if you wanted but that is cringe let's do a wrap wrap <laughs> easy strap of the tower to be honest smh all right so here go down angle like this much like, angle quite a bit, and don't jump too late, or else you're gonna get stunned. Like that. And then, there's a good strat for box traps. I don't know why Jato players do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Go like this. Angle beforehand, and then do it. So much easier! <laughs> Screen? <sighs> okay. So, floor 8. Floor 8 sucks. Um, hardest floor, probably. But don't listen to Fuzzy Rocks one two three because he's like RNG. It's not RNG. He just sucks. Anyways, this jump is like the hardest jump of the tower. Probably you have to jump incredibly late, or else you are absolutely just dogged on. So he just could do that. I think no, don't do that. <laughs> Trying to test new strategies while I'm making a video. Nice. You see what I mean? Pull out an item and put it back in so you don't get flat headed, and then jump late. <laughs> that jump is nil. And yeah, pretty much that's the just a T-O-H-H, and don't be me on a rebeat. I, I was trying to rebeat this, and I went, Yo, let's go! Yeah, that literally happened to me, too. Um, anyways, next hour. Now, after that dumpster fire dog shit tower that no one likes, even though it's actually not that bad, it's just annoying. Do T-O-A-A, because it's so fun. Um... 
Wait, the skips got patched in this too. What a coincidence. Now the tower's worse. See how that works? Maybe stop. Anyways, um, <sighs> basically, the tower's still fun to go without skips, just nowhere near as fun, and it sucks without it, so, yeah, doesn't really have any skips anymore, so I guess I won't show any, because I don't know any, because I'm stupid. Anyways, um, what I recommend doing is practicing li final dice quite a bit, and you should be a bit better, I guess? I don't, I don't know. Um, practicing the final dice is, like, nil if you aren't no-clipping. Because you have to, like, get to it, and that's, like, nil. That's, like, harder than doing the tower because you have to laugh clip. And laugh. We all know laugh clipping is, like, the hardest thing in all of <gasps> I didn't even hold space. <laughs> oh, oh, what the fuck? Okay. Anyways. Shut Nobody needs to hear your counting. Oh my god. This music is so good, bro. Oh my god. Oh! My screen tearing! Oh my god, I can't do this with my- I literally can't do this with my screen tearing. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> my screen tearing. Dude. If my screen tearing was this bad when I was originally doing TOAA, it's not possible. Yo, what the hell? Notice how I have screen tearing? Like, worse screen tearing than, like, anybody. And I, like, don't sh cry about screen tearing. It's funny. It's, it's genuinely a funny thing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we go. Let's try that again, but not have screen tearing, I guess. Even though. Let's go. No way. Yeah, just make sure to practice final dice for TOAAA, or else you're gonna get destroyed. The next towers I would think would be good are in Ring 9. Both of them are. What? Dude, I swear to God, my screen tearing is not having a good day today. Like, I literally couldn't do TOAAA final dice for the life of me. What? Why did that happen, bro? That's annoying. <laughs> Let's go. Slow in the vents. Yo. Why did my speed go then, then? Oh my god. Anyways. TOBK. Because it is so good. My favorite tower, by the way. TOBK is like the best thing. Stop it. Stop it. Being s terror screen. Okay. Tower Bloodthirsty Kinos. No way. So this tower, you, it's pretty, it's really forgiving. Aside from the final part, which sucks. So you'll learn your own strategies as you go on. It's pretty janky. But I'm going to be giving you guys strats for the final section. Hop on here. What? That has never happened to me before. That has never happened to me before. If that happens to someone on a real run, then that's sad. Oh, yeah, go forwards. Um, And then do it. Okay. Here, I'd recommend going to the edge, angling a bit, and then flicking your camera towards the end. Okay, so here, go down the spheres. Ledge grab. They're not hard anymore. They're like free right now, so. Yeah. So here, some, some people go like this. And do what some people do. Do okay, I don't I don't know why. I don't know why people don't do this. So people go like this for some reason, like fuzzy rocks one, two, three, the stupid idiot head who is horrible and the worst Shato player. They go like this, but that's like stupid. All you need to do hold W D in space and then stop holding it early and then go. Don't be like fuzzy rocks one, two, three, guys. He's stupid and he's like obese. Okay, so here. 
You want to go down, flick off, and then climb on truss. Then here you just do a truss flip. <gasps> Gosh, so racist. Hardy. Oh my god. Hardy McThoddy McShoddy. <sighs> okay. So TOC. <sighs> I literally, like I said it with Toga, I'll show you it. But I don't really recommend it. Like, I don't. I'm sorry. I I just don't. It's, it's, it's so bad. Um, okay, anyways. It's like so bad but you can st still do the skip literally stop crying and shining and being a little wait you can't never mind um all right so some some fake platforms in this tower suck and what i recommend doing is knowing them oh. is knowing them you Yeah, so only right side, no left side. Kind of from, from no, I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. So where this one ends, this one starts, or I mean, the other way around. Where this one ends, that one starts. So it's like use that as like your hit marker, <gasps> and do that. She. Okay, so do that. That jumps like bad. Watch this. You ready? I I legit. 360 plays. Yo, my screens! And yeah, you beat it after you do two outside because that's like the hardest part of the tower, ironically. Anyways, yeah, that's TOC strategies, even though there's like none because it's all just converse. So don't do it. But you can if you want. It's bad though, so be prepared to be a be a little a little a little unsatisfied when you're grinding it. Uh, <laughs> okay we all know totb is like meta it's so good i'd love oh my god if you don't like totb literally leave like the door's right there like if you don't like totb then you're just invalid and you should like honestly like stop playing the game is that a eggplant <gasps> what the f what the fiddle sticks okay anyways Gets to Tower of Terror fine. If you remove text, you as you're also uncultured, so you should, like, not do that. Anyways, some strat... I forgot about the wiggle wrap. Wiggle wrap's so hot. Love this jump. So, you just gotta go... It's not hard, so, yeah. Remember when I was grinding this? Also, this is can Clyde true for some reason. <laughs> Anyways, um... This section is pretty let's goes. Anyways, so what you need to do is you need to go... Wow. Oh my god, I'm literally going to have a cancerous child. Um. Just gotta go and go. Wow. Alright, so this part is like the harder part. It's still easy. Floor 4 is like the easiest floor, I'm pretty sure. Floors five, floors three and five are like nil. Floor five is really hard. I'll give you some strategies for it though. So, right here, what I recommend, what I recommend doing is curving in like that, and then here, this jumps like probably nil. Just do that. It's pretty easy. That was a joke. So here, just go like this, and then curve in with your camera. That's what I find to do. A lot of people go like this. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but you can do it if you're more comfortable with it. But I'm more comfortable with going like that. So that's what I do. Go like that. If you want to do the skip, then feel free to. But it's nil. You could go. Well, but I recommend just going like that and just doing it regular. Okay, these headers are literally so hard, unironically. I hate them. Die. Okay, floor six. Um, I'm just gonna show you some dodging mechanics. So, Tower of Hell players, when they realize floor six TOTP just exists. <laughs> okay, so what I recommend. 
doing is getting like one platform ahead of like it and then jumping back as you go <gasps> okay anyways last jump turn your graphics all the way up look down and make sure you don't hit the spinner or else you are the best player drop right down here right down there and dodge everything so go wow it's really not hard I'm going to fucking cry. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Failed the last jump. Bro, what the hell? <gasps> okay, so TUEI is not extreme. It's like remorse no i'm joking it's 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 definitely terrifying i don't care what you say it's literally harder than tofn and toim but it is actually really fun really really fun like best tower j to fun not actually best tower because tower of bloodthirsty kinos is like a thing you know that exists but Basically, some strategies and alignments. I'm gonna give you a lot of them for floor eight trusses because a lot of people struggle with these quite a bit. What I would recommend doing is I made a commentary on this tower, by the way, if you are planning on guiding us. So, yeah, just do that. Okay, so like I said, flick out angle. And oh my god, after playing tiered obbies, these trust jumps are like literally nothing. Also, expect a comatose completion sometime soon. So, yeah. Let's go. So here, I recommend just doing that. Just, Dude, this jump used to be so hard. I swear to God, this jump used to actually be so hard. Yeah, I just flick and then do that. Okay. Right here. This jump is like where people are like, no. That's too hard for me. That's too advanced McCann. McCann. What, what's a McCann? Like sardines? Wait, no. Okay. Here, just go. Wow. Wow. Use the mechanic I taught you in TODC where you move down before you jump and you gain a lot of distance. But move up before you jump if you want to gain heights. But you don't really do that in JTO, so. Unless if you're attempting katas. Also, I'm not going to be doing katas. I'm not going to be showing what order to, 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 to do katas because they're really self explanatory. You know, TOGF, TOER, TOCR, TOCPs, white green peas. What the hell? That's racist. Anyways, you just gotta go out. Well. Shoot! 360. Let's go. I did that on a real run like 15,000 times. Anyways, um, floor 9 is like self explanatory, but it's pretty hard. And then floor 10 is easy. See, this is why damn drum sucks. Like, literally. Look it. This is all you have to do. Like, oh, I hate you. I couldn't, I can't 360 because of my screen tearing, but let's go. Let's go, bro. I did it. Let's go. Anyways, um, the next, the, ne the next tower. We're moving on to terrifyings. I think, wait. <laughs> yeah, we are. Okay. Um, uh, Trader Joe's. Let's go, bro. Okay, so what what we're gonna do now? What the fuel sticks? Oh my god! I didn't. I mean, let's grab this game. So RNG. Why does this even exist? Like this is not funny. Like I hate you. Whoever made this item, like I literally hate you, and you should like go eat some pine trees. Oh my god! I forgot. Yo, let's go. Wait. Let me do the fling. Let me do the fling. Yes! Oh. The obby 2 TOIM is like harder than actual TOIM, so. Yo! Dude, I swear. Okay, so second jump on um, the strat for is to go. And then, like, backwards wall hop. No, it's straightforward. It's just no. Okay, I also made a commentary on this tower. And TOI, and TOFN. So. Yeah, look at those if you're guiding us. Anyways, if you don't want to do once and squeezes, you're bad. Anyways, you don't need to go like this. You don't need to go hip and hop. Don't do that. All you need to do is you need to angle. 
So a little bit of your body goes in. Squeeze and then turn. It's kind of e easy, but. So yeah, just look at my my commentary for this. Uh, I'd recommend this being your first actual. Oh my god, that's loud. Okay. <laughs> Mustache girl, yo. I drink those. <gasps> what the hell? Okay, basically here you just gotta. Bo Wait, boba teas. Same to be honest. <sighs> okay, all you need to do is you need to. I'm gonna cry. Anyways, after TYM, you're gonna do T O F N. I think, yeah. Wait, I don't know, because nervous sweating is like, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, do T O F N. Do T O F N. I also made a commentary on this tower. So, like, I'm just the best. I'm the best. Bro. Ah. Physical, I'll look kill you, man. Safe tower, boss. Oh my god. <laughs> so orangey. I literally can't do that. Jump, it's orangey. That's how that works. But I did not just see that avatar. What the f? What is that? Yo, he got the drip, though. Anyways. This tower sucks. Like. Okay, do this do this skip is very useful. So what So what my screen tearing, I swear I'm gonna cry. Anyways. What you're gonna wanna do here is flick under. That was a joke, don't do the skip, but it's possible if you want. Um, I made a commentary on this tower, so if you need strats, then look at that. But you can also see this. Um, you know how a lot of people go like this, and then they fail it? J or, like, they go like this. Right? Don't do that. If you want to j jump at the peak of your height, go like this, and then angle out. And then... Go like this, and then angle out, and then flick your camera at the top. And then, yeah, you can freeze items, but I'll skip up. <laughs> God, I'm so stupid. Also, incendious. Okay, um, I'm just gonna show you guys some strategies for floor ten outside, even though there are none. Never mind, lol. But I'll show you a floor ten outside. God, I just got the shivers for some reason. Skip, skip, S skips, skip, 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 skip. You can basically just glitch wrap this right here. <gasps> oh my God! And you know, you know, you already know what I'm gonna say about this one. I'm not even gonna go in it because I literally hate it so much. Basically, if you want to do thin studs over GBJs with horrible gameplay that nobody likes and it's super unfun to grind and it's bland and it's boring and it's not fun at all and it's nothing inspiring about it and it's dog shit, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit. Um, if you don't, if you if you got that reference, I'm sorry, but anyways, um. We're not doing that. We're not. You can do it if you want. Oh, I made a commentary on it, but I didn't do it legit because I died on 10 and I was being a dumbass. Um. I don't even know much about nervous sweating, so I guess that's. <laughs> I heard it was like horrible, though. Like, I've played through it and I know it's like not good. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what. Why is Chloe here? Like, I literally hate you. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. To contrary belief, Tower of Nervous Sweating is the best tower in Jato. In. <gasps> oh, wait, it's not even over there. Oh, my. When you get T-O-N-S and T-O-F-A-C-T. No, call it Toe Fact. <coughs> Ow. Um, mixed up. That's like cringe. Look up there. Yo, let's go. Okay, anyways. Tower. A 
of nervous sweating. This tower is like a nil. And I don't know a whole lot about it, like I said, so I don't really know any strats. All I know is it doesn't look very fun. I'll be making a commentary on every tower other than Kata's, by the way, in this ring. So expect some of those, and then you can use those along with this to guide you through your JTO journey from the SCs. I'll be showing you some ways to make floor 10 outside not completely nil. Here, you just gotta go. My screen sharing, like, is, I'm not even, do you see that? This is from a little circle. I don't like screen tearing. It's like hard to get rid of because I'm lazy, but I don't really care that much. Floor turn outside isn't that hard to begin with. So, yeah. Tie ups are so good, guys. They're so fun. Mm -hmm. I just flicked my camera to not get stunned. Also, guys, if, if like, watch Black Clover, please. It's so good. Anyways. um, Yeah, floor turn outside is kind of free. This long jump's nil, actually. Just kidding. Well, you thought. This long jump's not nil either. That long jump's nil. Yo, Shane! What the hell? I didn't even move my mouse at all! And yeah. Now, we all know what the last tower I'm gonna say to do is. <sighs> tower of Augmented Misery. Tower of definitely terrifying lol. Mm hmm that's, that's reasonable. No, it's not. It's kinda. Unless if it got a nerf, because I heard that it did, but I don't know. But like, it's like not easy at all it's like actually like not terrifying out of what i've played and i got to floor six on it uh ah my hair is like getting in my eyes it's kind of cringe to be honest okay but yeah it takes like a while that's one thing i hate about ring nine is it takes like 10 years to get places <gasps> never mind no it doesn't no vm you can just do that let's go bruh also, I'm gonna beat TOCR like I'm planning on doing so. So, but about Baba. Okay. Anyways, this is Tower of Augmented Misery, and I have a decent amount of strats. For instance, this one. Do that. Make sure to do that. Why did it just like break? Like I literally couldn't move. Okay, so this jump, I don't, I don't, I, I just don't understand it. Like I genuinely just don't. Like you have to ledge grab and then go along here and then flick off. Like it just doesn't make sense to me how that works. I don't know. Um, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. <gasps> and final outside. <laughs> Why do you make final outsides? But I'm gonna show you how to do it. What the? Can you hurry up, you literal? Mineral eater. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, this is just like a lot of like train You just gotta go you gotta like Flick I think maybe I don't know. I think it's Thursday though. So like I think you like do have to right now Time that well Go like this go like that What the fiddlesticks? Oh my gosh And here they shrink. So cool. Who, th who is Nerd Bingus? No one likes Nerd Binguses, bro. I, I had one of those last night to drink, and it was like a pretty disgusting dinner, to be honest. 
Okay. There's not really any strats for 10 outside, but, like, kind of is. It's nil, though. What? I don't know a whole lot about this tower either. I don't know about a whole uh, a lot about Ring 9, to be honest. I haven't been playing as much of it. Because Comatose. Oh, and I've been playing a lot of 2Ws recently, but yeah. I, I still I don't get how that's, like, even, like, not possible. I mean, even possible. Like, you have to, like, time it so good. Like, where? It's not. I don't understand. But yeah, that's the rank you should do every SC that isn't catted because I'm, like, too good for Candace, to be honest. Like, okay, no, like, I literally, my screen tearing is getting worse and worse by the day. Do you see this? This is from a little shake. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Like, I, anyways, that is how to progress in Jade Soul. Let's go. Anyways. Thank you for watching this 50 minute video of me expl- I hate this outside. Of me explaining what to do in Jato if you're so good at the game. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I haven't posted a lot recently. I think I'll make some Ring 9 commentaries once I get motivation to post. Anyways, goodbye.